Hey, what's up Guardians? DBL here, and we're back with the next part of our weapon tuning discussion video where Black Fox and I discussed uh, a lot of the upcoming weapon changes. Now, as you guys know, in the previous video, we discussed the changes coming to auto rifles, and for the most part, we're happy about them. It's about time auto rifles got the, uh, the buff that they needed to make them competent in both PvE and PvP again. This time around, we're going to be discussing pulse rifles and scout rifles and how these upcoming changes could affect their placings and usage in both PvE and PvP. Now, as usual, be sure to let me know you guys' thoughts and comments about the upcoming weapon changes in the comment section below. Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? Be sure to let me know. But all right, here is part two of our weapon balance discussion. Hope you guys enjoy. But, um, you know, Moving on here, we've got uh, the changes that, that are coming to pulse rifles, which really, I, not too much of a, of a change here. They're getting a reduce in their, a reduction rather, in their base damage for the uh, medium rate of fire ones by about 2.5%. It's the same nerf that auto rifles got back yeah. in February. The scaling, the scaling uh, damage reduction. Yep, they got a 2.5 damage reduction. Which, um, you know, we, we said this about Suros, but it seems like that's specifically a Red Death Messenger nerf. Me I think Messenger's low rated fire. I think, right? Uh, you might be right. Yeah, you might be right. Messenger might be one of the lower. Low rate. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. That and the Hopscotch Pilgrim are. Uh, well, no, Hopscotch fires kind of quickly, but the Messenger is a low rated fire one. Yeah. So what is so what is that nerf targeting then? Just Red Death? I guess Red Death. They don't but like it. Apparently. Red Death didn't need a nerf. It doesn't need one. I think they're trying to think ahead and balance, yeah, and not have the meta go to Red Death. Which I, I don't, I don't even think it will. No, go to Red Death. I mean, it may for like the first week. I think the I think the meta is going to go to Hard Light for the first week, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Uh, you think I think so. Make a splash in PvP. I think it's going to make a splash in PvP. You know, the the increase in damage is going to help with it. The um the the. It's, it's exotic ability might not be that helpful on like 90% of the PvP maps. On the, the smaller range ones like uh, Asylum and Anomaly, I think it's going to be pretty helpful. Um, but, you know, decent fire rate, decent or small amount of impact, but that damage that damage increase, plus it looks and sounds really cool. <laughs> Hard Light's a fun, it's a fun gun to use. I still think Last Word's going to be good. Yeah. I still think Thorn is going to be good. Oh, absolutely, good. yeah. I, I still think that Last Word, which we'll get into later, is going to be still a king in, yeah in the right hand hail to the king baby that's the last word but uh, additionally post rifles are getting a small reduction in their base stability which uh, I'm not too I'm not too bothered by again you can reroll most legendary uh, pulse rifles now to get really great stability options and uh, some really great uh, some really great abilities on there like uh, what is it head seeker body seeker Head Seeker, yeah. which is an amazing, amazing ability for pulses. And uh, so I, I don't think that's going to really bother them too much. They're also getting an increase in their magazine size for all of their uh, base inventory stats, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if uh, if pulse rifles really had a problem with uh, with ammo, ammo reserves. Um, they usually sit around 25 to 30 rounds, typically. Yeah. That's usually what they sit around in auto rifles kind of the same way i guess they want to distance the pulse rifle from auto rifles in a way and they want to kind of take it up to give people higher bursts i guess that's more of a pve type of thing yeah more than a pvp but i can see it working for both because you don't have to reload it for both situations of both modes yeah you know and i agree you know they're they're, they're trying to think ahead here and keep pulse rifles balanced with the uh with auto rifles which are going to be coming back into some form of glory here, so I, it'll be interesting to see. I generally, the only pulse rifle I use in PvE is Red Death, but uh, who knows, maybe that'll change. Yeah. Right now, pulse rifles for me are just strictly like a PvP weapon class. Uh, I, I use Red Death and Crota, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much the same for me. Gotta get those free heals, man. But all right, next up we had a couple of changes to scout rifles, which are kind of interesting considering Bungie thinks that scout rifles are perfect the way they are for the most part. Which I know, uh, I know, John here <laughs> disagrees with a little bit. But um, scout rifles what? are getting an increase. Do with? Don't you don't you think pulse or scout rifles need a uh, buff? Yeah, they do. Okay, because I, I said you disagree with Bungie saying that uh, scout rifles are currently orbiting their sweet spot pretty nicely. 
Um, uh, but the changes coming to the scout rifles are an increase in base damage for medium to high rate of fire uh, scout rifles, which mm, necessary. Even in PvP, uh, the medium rate of fire scout rifles, they're just they're too slow to compete with uh, the current dominant hand cannons. So uh, getting a nice increase in base damage, I think will be a, I think it'll be a good thing. I think it's about what they needed. What about you? Well, they said in, in a little sub uh, note that the that the buff to medium rate of fire does not affect the time to kill in PvP. I don't know. So you're buffing the the damage on medium high rate of fire scouts, but it's not affecting the time to kill. I'm well, kind of confused by that. How is that a buff then? Maybe it's just that's weird. Yeah. I guess maybe it's a buff, but it's not enough to uh, to reduce the TTK in PvP. Where, I don't know. where damage is normalized, or maybe, or maybe what they should just say is it's a PVE buff. <laughs> I don't understand it. I guess it's a PVE buff. Yeah. yeah. I guess they're trying to now categorize between PVE and PvP. Hmm, Bungie. Hmm. Something they should have done before the game came out. Ugh. But uh, scouts are also getting an increase in their uh, base magazine size. I can't complain about that. Uh, they're reducing final accuracy when firing from the hip, which again, I can't complain about. You're not really supposed to be using scout rifles for hip firing. So uh, that's not really a problem. Uh, they're also boosting damage by an extra 5% against AI combatants. So it's getting another 5% damage boost in PvE. Interesting. 10 out of 10, Bungie. Thank you. Yeah, 10 out of 10. That's about what they needed. I'm uh, interested in seeing I where that's going. Although, P scout rifles are already really good in PvE, in my opinion. I love them. I think they're good, but they definitely need a little bit of a tweak. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, right now, hand cans are the dominant class, but they are getting a major nerf. But I think what the main um, reason behind the reduced firing accuracy when firing from the hip is, like, caused by, is the fact that you can roll full auto now on scouts yeah. and and the fact that they're at at their increase in the uh, magazine size for all scouts they don't want you to just roll full auto and run around hip firing i guess i, that's, <laughs> I guess that's that's they, the thought i guess you know? they don't want you chainsawing things okay that makes sense and all right that pretty much concluded our discussion about pulse rifles and scout rifles there aren't really too many changes coming to those classes some minor buffs to the scout rifle class and uh well a little bit of a nerf to the pulse rifles along with an ammo size buff so good stuff all around there in the next discussion video we are talking about the blanket nerf to hand cannons so it's going to be a very spirited uh very spirited discussion if i do say so myself if you guys want spoilers i'm not happy about them <laughs> But alright, that's it for this discussion video guys. If you like what you saw here, do feel free to check out my channel where we will be having a ton more Destiny videos including more weapon balance talks coming out soon. Alright, that's it for this one guys. As always, thanks for watching, and I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.